Um, want to give all glory, honor, and praises to you. How about Shemir Havashari, about Shemir Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, and ruin to teach well. Peace of salutation to the elect 144 first root. All right, so this lesson, of course, as you can see on my screen, I have the daily huddle. It says news and insight from digital econ economy saying that $267 billion a bank to abolish cash warns customers to prepare for mass massive digital overhaul. So you can see the um, economy shift in a different way. It says one of the largest banks in Australia, and we know about Australia too, they've been heavy on abolishing cash in their society and moving toward the, the sea hip. OK, I think Australia will be one of the first countries to really be implementing the um, the uh, MOTB in that area. Um, so it says um, one of the largest banks in Australia is rolling out a plan to terminate cash and checking services in an update on its website. Um, Macquarie Bank, which has. 267 billion dollars in assets tells customers that a digital centered banking experience will begin in november not might not i don't know but will begin in november and automatically made me think of this script here in first corinthians 7 and 31 it says and they that use this world as not abusing it for the fashion of this world passeth away the reason why it reminded me of this, yes, the grand scheme of things, this world will pass away via the nuclear uh, missiles and also Yahweh Shai coming back, clean up shop and establish the uh, house of Israel, of course. But also, let me say this, <clears throat> when 2020 hit, prior to 2020, of course, 2019 and on in the in, in past, it was a different fashion of how the world was operated. Once 2020 hit, that fashion after 2019 passed away. And then a new era started with 2020. You see what I'm saying there? So it's the same case of this. Once they fully abolish or get rid of cash and the assets that belong to cash, it will be a new fashion of the world. Okay. So let's get this word fashion and I'm going to close this out. Of course, this was just a simple update in, uh, in the Greek it's schema. All right. And it says that the habitus as com comprising everything in a person which strikes a sense, the figure, bearing, discourse, actions, manner of life. The point. That's the main point. Um, a good thing. It does say compromising everything in a person which strikes the senses. Right. So usually what we have called a normalization everyone's in a normal state of mind frame at the moment of course when like i said 2020 hit and it kind of struck the senses of the people and when they saw how it was going to be likened they got used to it again so what we're seeing now is people used to how things are we always mention contractions contractions and then you get used to the pain or something like that it's the same thing that we're going to be seeing with the uh, digital market, with money and things of that nature. And people, once this strikes in November, it's going to be a pain to some people. But eventually it will be normalized and they'll get used to it again. And that will be the new manner of life. OK, so the manner of life that we're living right now, well, especially in Australia, the manner of life that they're living right now in November, that manner of life will change in the manner of life that they're living right now, that would be what passed that passed away. Okay? So when you read First Corinthians seven and thirty one, don't always think of, you know, missiles. Oh, it's gonna pass away. Yes, of course, but one week can change and alter what the fashion of the world was the previous week. You see what I'm saying? So you got to look at it in a micro and macro scale. So Lord willing, this is edifying. We'll see what comes of this. Looking forward to November, I'll tell you that. Lord willing, we get that far. I want to give all glory on and praises to you. How about Shemi? How about Shai? How about Shemi? How about Shemi? How about Shemi?
And like always, repent for you. I wish I was coming back sooner than what me and you believed. All right, Shalom.